Okay, so I'm trying something totally new. Whenever I anticipate carrying a new product, I actually test it before I carry it because I like to make sure that if it works for me, then, and I'm a painter, then it could really work great for you. So I get a lot of requests for reviews and, and my honest opinion on things. And if I can help you make better purchasing decisions, that's my goal. So um, Andrew was late for work yesterday. No, he was, was he was late from lunch. So I'm making him be my model uh, to show you guys an honest review of some of the new fab. Um, metallic color so a lot of people are asking me okay what is a metallic color what is so special about them how do they work what makes them different from the other colors so let me help you get to the bottom of that basically the new fab colors look at this color it is called Ziva blue and it is absolutely gorgeous and this is the shimmer magenta and then this is a gold and then we also have a gold um, with a little bit of glitter in it so I want to show you guys the differences between those and how to get the most um, the maximum effect out of them basically what makes a shimmer a shimmer color is that it has glitter or it has a shimmer pigment already mixed in the paint so for me they're excellent to be used as a background versus uh, a color that you're going to do a lot of line work with unless you're going to put it over another uh, solid color like putting a shimmer gold on top of a black is going to help it stand out a lot more than you just trying to draw your line work with it especially because it can be either a little bit creamier or it can be a little bit um, clumpier so to speak this is the silver and the silver as you can see a little bit has a little bit of a rougher texture to it and that's because the metallic flake inside of the silver starts coming to the surface and that's what can make it a little bit harder to just make your smoothest lines with so when comparing the shimmers or the uh, these shimmer colors from Fab to the other brands like Krylon, like Wolf, uh, like Snazaroo, like Maron, the main difference comes down to one color, uh, but two actual consistency. I really like the consistency of the Fab paints because it's creamy, so it's really easy to blend with, especially if that's something that you're having trouble with. They also have still a slight sheerness to them, where the Wolf metallics are a little bit more opaque, a little bit more transparent. So you're going to get that kind of glowing look versus a total coverage. So I'll show you what I mean. So first I'll show you how to apply them or how they go on using just your brush. So you brush in a little bit of water and then I rub it over the surface and you want to just generate a nice um, consistency. You don't want it to be too wet, you don't want it to be too dry, but since they are nice and creamy they tend to load up pretty nicely. So once I have my brush loaded if you just make your line work with it, you're going to notice that you are going to get a little bit more of a transparent coverage, but you can see slightly how nice and shiny this coverage is. So that's a good thing, especially if you're trying to use it for more softer fantasy faces, because then you're going to get that nice kind of transparency versus this bold, intense color that's going to totally um, capture the design. So I'm picking up on one edge a little bit of this uh, Ziva Blue. And on the other edge, I'm picking up a little bit of this shimmer magenta. And the reason that I double load them on my sponge is so that I can blend back and forth. So you want to, again, make sure that it's not too, too wet or and it's not too, too dry because then it's going to be too hard for you. So I'll just go over this section and I'm going to stipple in the color with my sponge. And as you can see, I'm getting this still a nice shiny base to it. It makes it a little bit more opaque when you're actually sponging it on. And I'll flip it over and I'm going to go right over it with my shimmer magenta. But you see how nice they blend and the colors have a little bit more elasticity to them. So I'll flip it back around and I'll go over it with my blue again so that I get that nice transition right inside of there versus it being um, this this blocked out color but they blend really nicely and even if we let it dry for a second I can still go back in there and kind of blend it out so overall I really enjoy using the fab metallics and shimmers uh, the silver is probably the most uh, metallic of all of them uh, it, they've been known and and this brand has really been become popular just because of the silver because it's one of those true true metallic silvers that's hard to find so I'll put a little bit up here just so that you guys can see 
that it goes on the skin immediately as a silver metallic, which again is not that easy to find. To me, the most metallic silver is if you use the metallic powders, but this, the Fab Silver is to me the next best real true uh, metallic silver. You can even see when you load it up that you get that really um, metallic silver from it, which is a, an important color for people, especially if you want a bright, intense silver. The other great part, or the other great colors that I really enjoy using in the fab is uh, this beautiful ocean shimmer. This one is awesome as well because it's kind of like a pearlescent green that picks up a lot of uh, gold lighting to it so it's a really good color to blend with for my uh, for my blues so it goes nicely with that ziva blue and you see how it just even though this area was dry I can still kind of go back in there and add this little bit of color on top of it and the 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 consistency just picks it back up and allows me to blend back and forth which is really nice even though I went right on top of it so we offer two different golds one has gold uh, flakes in it um, and that's the glitter glam and then we offer another gold so we have both of these and really what is the difference one already has a glitter flake in it some people prefer that for me when it goes on the skin then you get to see those glitter flakes immediately and those of you that are using it as a background for a mask or if you're using it that you want a nice shimmer in your paint the glitter glam with the actual glitter inside of it is really nice so as you see I'm gonna just put it on the skin and if the light will help pick it up, I hope, there are reflections of little glitter. There's little glitter specks in it versus the regular uh, gold that has just a sheen to it. So you're going to have a little bit more um, of your yellowish gold and rather than it being, um, and it has a little bit more of an orange tint to it as well. And it doesn't have the glitter in it, glitter in it. But both of them are beautiful. And they're both excellent for you to, uh, to be able to use on your fantasy faces. They also mix extremely well with any normal color, like a pink. If I was just going to mix a little bit of that gold with the pink, then they really work nicely together by blending in. And I use that a lot for uh, cheek colors or for eyes um, or even when I just would like it to be kind of a, a, a pink hue to my golds. They mix really nicely. The golds are really fabulous too. So the last thing that I want to review for you guys are these new Silly Farm brushes. Now it takes me a long time to find a brush that I like because, you know, there's so many and what do they do and what's the best brush and what can keep you going and what don't I have to put a lot of thought into. So when I'm making quick and simple flowers, especially on younger kids, I'm always looking for a brush that will do that. So we have been searching the globe wide and, and, and long to find brushes that we really like to make perfect flowers. And my Aunt Marcella, mama clown she found a great brush in target and it made the perfect flower petals for her problem is it was made uh, specifically for target so we couldn't really carry them plus it didn't hold up in a whole lot of water so we took it to our brush manufacturer and they made these replicas for us and so far they're turning out awesome so I'm going to show you how to use them and I'm going to tell you how I, why I really like them it comes in two sizes, either a bold point or a smaller point. So depending on the size kid that you're working on or the area, you're going to have a, a brush for either one. I suggest you really thinking about which brushes you use the most of or which designs you do, and then you can decide which one you need. So then I'm just going to load it up generously with some white paint, just like this. And again, you want to load it all the way to the ferrule. The ferrule is that silver part in your brush. The next thing that I'm going to do is just dip the tip of my brush in another color. So you want it to be a darker color. I'm going to dip it in the pink. And this technique is called double loading. So as you can see, I have two different colors on this. All you have to do is just lay it and move it in a circle. And you have the fastest, easiest two-tone flowers. And because this brush has this nice fat body to it, it just makes those perfect flowers that you can just 
hurry go especially if you're working on a little kid and you're trying to get things done fast and notice I only loaded it once but I'm able to do between five and six flowers possibly even more with just one load of my brush and that's pretty good especially because this brush has a pretty wide base on it so you're going to be able to hold and absorb a lot more paint versus your your other brushes that tend to run out of it so you see how many flowers I did and I could possibly keep on going which is even better so I love using this to make my flower masks and to be able to work across the face really quickly if you want to make your smaller flowers you're going to do the same thing just press gently in a circular motion to make your flowers. And again, this is a great brush, especially in a rush uh, when you're trying to get little kids' faces painted and they want to wiggle. You don't have time to draw those super perfect flower petals and this will definitely help you work fast. Now the last little brush that I want to discuss is this thing called a daughter wand because it has this foam tip on it so you can dip your your paint your paintbrush or you can dip your uh, your daughter wand inside of paint great because it has the point on it so you don't have to worry about um, you, you needing to to find a, a nice point on it so you can use it for the middle of your flowers you can by the harder you press the bigger the uh, the dot is going to be so if I just go on the tip or if I press a little harder it's excellent for making your clusters of your dots and again because it has that nice tip on it you get dots of all different sizes fast easy and it's a great way versus you having to always load your brush precisely so and just kind of dabbing it in the middle here, here and there. You can make really nice centers of the flowers or embellish it. And it's great because you can load it up literally with any color. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed my little review of these new fab paints and these new Silly Farm brushes. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please find us on our blog. Uh, visit us on Silly Farm. Check out Fava TV. Or just give us a call. We are really always here. So I hope you have a great day. Happy painting.